Hi guys, my name is Ashley and I'm a six-figure reseller on Poshmark and eBay and today I'm going to Last Chance for like the first time ever like sourcing. I'm with Regina <laughs> <laughs> and yeah so she's gonna teach me all the robes and I'm really excited. Everyone's been like messaging me telling me that I have to go to Last Chance and yeah I don't really know what to expect. I'm not having like too high hopes because I don't want to like get myself let down if it's not good but if I find some good stuff I'll be happy. So Regina, you talked about some tips earlier. So what are your like, so sorry, sunny is my guys. What are your <laughs> tips for shopping at Last Chance? Today is Friday, which is 80% off a certain colored tag. Mm -hmm. This is my favorite day to go. I usually just look for those colored tags. Okay, so like, if, like literally just look for, what color are we looking for? We'll have to see once we get there, which color is on sale. Uh, how do you figure that out? They tell you. Oh, cool, cool. So they tell you, we'll figure it out. Only shop for those tags and i'll like show you the whole thing obviously but what we're leaving it opens at nine and we're like running late and we're, we we want to get there how much earlier like five to ten minutes early that's like not that to bad make sure so, yeah we get a car yeah and yeah so take along the way and i'll show you like a whole of the stuff i get on the screen. <laughs> So we got there right when they were opening, which turned out to be totally fine. We were at the back of the line, but we were still able to get right in, get a cart just fine. They made us walk a single file down the line, which they were super strict about. But as soon as we got in, they had signs everywhere about which tag was 80% off. You cannot miss it. I had no idea what the carts were at, so I was just like wandering aimlessly, but they're over there on the side. But I still am very glad we got there early because after we were checking out, there were tons of people that were waiting for carts. So you definitely want to get there when it opens to get a cart. So first off, we went to shoes. That's where Regina said she always looks first. I found these pair of Rag and Bones. It was the only thing. I didn't find a lot of 80% off shoes. But then I went to the dresses and found this free people dress that wasn't green, but only $6, which was such a steal. Here are some of the brands that they had. The racks were kind of all over the place, such a mess, and the hangers got tangled. So you do have to deal with that to find the good finds. But if you're down for the hunt, then this is perfect for you. I was really looking for the sweaters and jackets, but they have those all combined with the tops together and there are so many lines of tops as you can see. Here's my cart at the end before I went through everything and here it is as I had gone through everything. Here's all the stuff that I'm getting. Um, a lot of good stuff, which I will show you again in my haul. And then even through checkout, I found this Veronica Beard blazer, but it was stained, but very promising that it was there. Oh, it's sunny again. Initial thoughts. Um, I'm almost like speechless. I don't even know because I'm so back and forth. I definitely found a lot of stuff, but, um, I didn't feel like, I mean, I definitely, most of the items I found were not like the 80% off tag. A lot of it was not on sale. And I just like, and I think that's kind of why I found some stuff because I feel like there are a lot of people in there that will literally just search. They <laughs> <laughs> search. Let me fix it. That like just search for the sale tag and so they'll skip over all this other good stuff and so i think if you're comfortable paying more with things then it's definitely worth to like look for the other colors but didn't wouldn't you say that i just like it was not as good of a day for like sale like sale stuff? yeah there's like less than so yeah time. so i kind of we're just gonna deal with that i just kind of wish that um there was more sales and i could like sale tags and i could have maybe scored some better deals but it was still good i'll show <laughs> like halfway in here um i'll do a little haul soon of everything i got um but it definitely still gave me like cutthroat vibes like i was still like oh my gosh like I need to like get, especially when I'm like, when I was trying to look through everything and I know people were like looking only at the green tags. I was like, oh my gosh, like they're gonna get to all these other green tags before me and I'm not gonna find as many good deals. And I don't really like that like cutthroat mentality when I'm like shopping. It wasn't as bad as like the bins, but it definitely was like trying to get through as much as I could, as fast as I could. So I would go back, I thought it was fun. It was a good a good source of shopping and I think it has a lot of cute stuff for like yourself. Um I don't know. 
I, but I would, I don't know if I would be like, I'm not obsessed with it. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not like, oh my God, last chance girly for life, you know? So yeah, those are my thoughts. And I'll do a haul soon. Okay, now I'm going to do a little haul of what I got. I'm just sitting on the floor here, so don't mind the setup here, but I'm excited to show you everything I got. Again, most things aren't, um, weren't the 80% off. But I'll show you like what prices I paid for them and what was on sale. So I guess the first thing starting off, and these were the first, um, I guess this is the first item that I found because I went to the shoes first. And they definitely have wear that I'll have to see if I can get off. Otherwise, they were still like a really good price. They are these rag and bone shoes. So these ones were 80% off. So these ones were like $11 or something like that. As you can see, they have a little bit of like markings on them. I'll try to get that off, um, but they're still like a really good deal. So got those. Those are the only pairs of shoes I got. Now for this big bag. Okay, this piece is so amazing. This is one of my favorite pieces and it is this Jonathan Simkai. That's how I pronounce it, at least little um, sweater. It is alpaca. It doesn't have the brand tag on it, but I knew it looked great and soft and so I checked the um, like fabric tag and it says it right on there. So it doesn't have a size, which is unfortunate, but I think it's a large um, based off of the um, price tag. They have it marked as a large and Regina said they're usually pretty correct with the pricing, I mean with the sizing. And so this one was um, $59, but I probably gonna list it for like $2.99 if I can sell it for like over 150 that's still like a pretty good flip and i think i can definitely get at least 150 for that Let's see next this is a green tag i'm probably gonna put this in a live show this is just like an aster the label this is a dress it is like a little not little it's a maxi dress but it's got more like dainty floral print on it this one is a size small and this one was 19 dollars, and then it is 80 percent off so this was like literally four bucks which is like cheaper than a thrift store. So this I'll probably go ahead and put in a show because it is a cute style and cheaper pricing. Let's see what next. Okay, Regina actually gave this one to me. I didn't find it, she did. Uh, it's an interesting dress. So it is a Lexus and this one was 80% off. This one was $105 and then 80% off. It was like 20 some. So it is this long dress. It has these like weird things at the bottom, which I think is so freaking strange. It looks like a little squid, like full on, just like a little squid. But you know, I don't judge because there was only one listed. They have it listed for $2.90, but it has like 26, like, uh, 26 likes on it. So people are obviously liking it. And this is like the newer um, brand tag, I think on some of them. It does have like a little discoloration right there, but not a big deal. Again, I only paid $20 for it. So even if I sold it for $100, that would still be a really good flip. Let's see. I got this just for my brother-in-law. It's just a little shat, like men's jacket shirt thing. This was only, this was $12 not on sale. So there's that. Uh, let's see. I got these Ronica beard jeans mostly for myself, but I could definitely, I think, flip them if I wanted to. So they are these dark wash, like flare leg. There's, they're called the Beverly skinny flare. And these are my size. So I'm keeping them. They were not on sale. They were $33 um, full price, which is a pretty good price. I've been looking for a pair of Ronica beard dark wash layer jeans so i'm really excited i was really excited honestly about finding those okay next this is another piece i was really happy to find because i'm very familiar with um the great which is um this is the brand if you've never seen it before or heard of it the great they're really known for these sweaters and cardigans so i got this this one was not on sale um this one was 60 dollars full price but I mean, the comps on this one range, but there's none available, I don't think. So I'll probably list it higher. I'll probably list it for like 250 or something and aim for like 175, 180 ish. Um, but very cute sweater. Again, very popular style. That was full price. 
Okay, this was actually a clearance find. This is Jonathan again, Simkai. That's what the brand tag looks like. Um, I don't love this style dress, but I love selling this brand. It's like this mini dress. I love these sleeves actually. And it's got like a cutout and it's like a little mini dress. This one, again, was 80% off. This one was $75 and then 80% off. I don't know, it was like, you know, $15, which is crazy. So the, the, the deals you can get and the prices are literally way cheaper than thrift store pricing. So they definitely have a lot of good options. And there was so much cute stuff for like yourself to buy, which speaking of, I got this next piece for myself. It's just a good American, like one piece. It's like one of these like short romper things, which I think are really cute. I like wearing these for summer, just like with a jacket tied around my waist or something like that. This one was full price, but okay, again, full price, brand new tags. This was $11, which is honestly such a steal. So I before was like, you know, I wasn't sure how I feel about it, but now even going back through my items, I'm like, yeah, like I really liked it. So this next piece again is full price, but I was shocked. They definitely, I think, mismarked this. It is a free people maxi dress. It's really cute. Obviously just free people, but this one, I'm so, this is why I'm so glad I looked not just for the 80% off color because this one they had marked for $6, which is crazy. And there's like no flaws. I try to look through flaws and everything. I don't see any major flaws in any of the stuff I bought. So, I mean, I might realize it later. I'm so bad at finding flaws, but this one is such a really good price and it's really cute. And this will probably put in like a show as well um, because I'm trying to keep my closet more like higher end stuff. Let's see what else I got in here. Okay, this next piece has a little bit of flaws. Again, this one was um, full price. It is a Rachel Comey dress. This is called the Mingle dress. It's like a sweatshirt dress, essentially. <laughs> Nothing special about it at all. Um, this one was full price. This one um, was marked for $53. Um, and this one is, there's currently like no available listings and it sold for like $175, $200. And again, this one has a little bit of weight. It has actually has some holes, like tiny holes in the front, uh, but because it's sold out and because they're smaller, if I need to sell it for a little less, like closer to like 150, that's still like a decent profit. And I really like selling that brand. It does really well in my closet. Okay, this next piece, I was really excited about this piece. I love this brand. So this is a, house of cb dress and this is like one of their most popular like styles like this corset dress i don't really know how this goes um but it's like this little corset dress and it has like this draping and stuff this one has a little bit like of snags like around the top there as you can see that i think i can just like cut that off um and it has a couple snags throughout but this is such a popular style and the price was not bad so i still picked it up this one again was full price and this one was $41. So again, a lot of the stuff I got was not the green tag. I did not find a ton of green tags. I'm not, Regina said that it wasn't a day they had a ton, but also there were tons of people like just searching for those. So they probably got a ton of those. I got, found this little like baby thing. This is this so cute? Um, my sister's having a baby like today. So, um, I found this and we don't know if it's a boy or girl, but I think this is so, so cute. This was, if you're wondering, this was $8. So got that. And I think that is all. I just got like some shapewear for myself, but that is really it. So again, I would recommend that you look through everything. So I guess even if you don't go on Fridays, it still can be really worth to go um, and just pay for the regular price of things because most of the stuff I paid for full price was between like 40 and $60 as you can see. And I'm really comfortable with paying that price range if I can flip things for the $200 range, which would give me about, you know, like a, 60 to like a hundred dollar profit depending on so i was really happy about those finds and again there are some really really great deals like thrift store pricing if you go during the fridays um but definitely my recommendations would be to look through everything i would perhaps go i like went all over the place like i jumped from the shoes and then i went to like half the dresses and then went to half the short dresses then back to like the long dresses and i kind of wish i just stayed more orderly because i definitely didn't even touch like half the store um, one thing I wish I did was like separate out the sweaters and jackets from the other tops because they don't do that and that's really annoying. Um, but as you can see, I found like there was like a Veronica Beard blazer that I wish 
didn't have like those flaws on it. So I definitely had put that back. But all those things are there. Like they have so many great brands there. Like I was surprised. I found like, you know, the Colt Gaia dress, which was super, super cute. I'm not sure if I took a video of that or not. Um, they had like Colt Gaia. Um, they had like Valentino stuff. They had Max Mara. Like really high end designer brands. A lot of it, if it wasn't on sale, was super high. Like I saw this Isabel Moran dress that was not even that cute. It was pretty basic. And I had a price for like $2.90. Um, but I like that they have the potential there to have those kind of items. So it's kind of like a mix. You can shop there if you're looking for cheaper stuff at thrift store prices or if you're looking for more designer stuff or a little bit of both. So, I mean, I would definitely go back and yeah, I think it's a good place to score stuff for yourself again or for stuff to flip. So I think next, if I ever come back here, I'm definitely gonna want to go to last chance. I had more luck here than I had like thrifting and stuff. I have not found anything to flip from thrifting here yet. So yeah, it was fun, but thank you so much for staying tuned and watching today's video. And don't forget to subscribe. I put out videos or try to um, at least a couple times a month on Wednesdays if I can. Um, so be sure to stay tuned for that and go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and follow me on Instagram at Recloth Collection for more tips and tricks as well. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.